LCL was incorporated as a company back in the mid-90s and uh, started production in 96 with a very small plant in a very far-flung distant part of the country. Small startup with big dreams and grew it to one of the most formidable cement businesses in the country. We are the largest exporter of cement from Pakistan. We have exported to more than 35 countries. Exports are the lifeline for this country. We are very happy to say that one in three bags of cement that is exported from Pakistan is from Lucky Cement. We are also very proud of being one of the few Pakistani companies who've actually gone and expanded beyond the borders of the country by putting up manufacturing facilities outside Pakistan. We now have plants in Iraq and in Congo. This has not only created opportunities for Pakistan to earn foreign exchange, but has also opened doors for Pakistani manpower to work abroad. One of our other great achievements is that we have expanded our footprints and diversified over and above the cement business. We have set up 660 megawatt power plant, which is one of the first few power plants which is running on indigenous third coal. In 2012, Lucky Cement acquired major shareholdings in ICI Pakistan Limited. We have gone into diversified chemicals, life science, soda, ash, and pharmaceuticals through the platform of ICI. And we are very happy to announce that the company has grown from strength to strength from that time onwards. In 2017, we set up Lucky Motors Corporation, which is now the third largest producer of uh, locally assembled cars in Pakistan. It is partnered with international brands like Kia and Pojo, and more to come. and it is also manufacturing cell phones in collaboration with Samsung. The cornerstone of every successful organization is built around hard work, integrity, and honesty. We strongly believe in gender equality, ensuring environment-compliant technologies. People who work with us very quickly build a whole host of abilities, and most of the people who start with us go with us a long way. We believe that growth and sustainability goes hand in hand. We have brought in technologies that have improved our efficiency, whereas ensuring the wastage is going out and the environment is recaptured back into the process. We are also going towards renewables by adding wind energy into one of our factories. We've already put up one of the largest solar plant in the country in one of our factories. We strongly believe that we need to work with sustainable practices for the growth of our company as well as for the future of this country. Our corporate social responsibility strategy hinges on three pillars. First of all, health. We've set up hospitals, we run our own dispensaries. The second strategy that builds our CSR policy is education. 
we have gone into setting up primary schools, running primary schools and partnering with people who do that. We've gone for college scholarships for our communities as well as other able students of this country. The third pillar of our uh, CSR strategy is community development. We strongly believe in giving back to the community, especially around the areas of operation. We are providing uh, drinking water to a lot of villages around one of our plants. We have set up solar-based tube wells in some of these villages. We strongly believe that in order for us to grow and sustain, we need to take the communities in our areas with us to move forward. In the year 2020, the life changed in this world for everybody. There was a lot of uncertainty around the future. The world was into COVID. We had local and international uh, lockdowns. Our cement profitability was not doing good. Our power plant, which was being built at a cost of $880 million, was delayed due to external factors. Then uh, we had just come in out of a expansion or at a cost of around 20 billion rupees in our uh, north side uh, of the country. And, and what do we do uh, in, in this scenario? We went and announced another expansion in the northern uh, region of Pakistan at a cost of around 26 billion rupees. One of the first things we did was held on to our most important asset, which is our human resource. I'm proud to say that in difficult times, we did not let go of any of our team members. We also looked at the business environment and we said, world would change and post COVID, there'll be a lot of opportunity. And people who invest now will be the ones who actually take the fruits of it. We at Lucky do not see problems and adversity. We actually see opportunities. You can only take these kind of decisions when you are bullish and passionate about Pakistan, you're optimistic about Pakistan, you have a team which you believe in. We are one of the fastest growing organizations in this country. We are the largest manufacturing entity of cement in this country. We are the largest local market share. We are the largest exporters. We've grown this company into size leaps and bounds from where it started from, especially given our diversification portfolio. Pakistan is a land of opportunities. Lucky is what it is today because of Pakistan and the opportunities which Pakistan has given to it.